friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So this week where I live, we are experiencing some cold, icy weather. And that means that most things have kind of shut down because we don't know how to deal with snow and ice in the South. So I am not going into work this week for the most part. And so I have a lot of free time to work on some projects. So today's plan is to work on making a quilted jacket. And this is something that I've been wanting to make for quite a while now. I have some pre-quilted fabric that I think is going to be so cute for this project. And I also have found a pattern that I think is going to work really well. So I'm excited to get started on that. And then I really just want to take advantage of the cold, cozy weather and do some different activities. I want to paint some taper candles. That's something that I've been doing a lot lately and it's so much fun. So I thought I would show you guys that as well. And then I might do a little bit of baking this evening just to enjoy the day even more, but I'm going to start by doing some sewing. This morning, I've just been working on some projects around the house and doing some tidying up and things like that. And now I feel like I'm ready to tackle my sewing project. So let me show you the fabric and the pattern for this project. So for this project, I want to use this vintage 1950s coat pattern. I just think this is so cute. It has kind of a casual vibe to it. And I'll definitely be working with this one right here that doesn't have the hood. Although I think the one with the hood is really cute as well. And then this fabric is by a brand I think called Stoff or S-T-O-F France. I found this on fabric.com and it is such a pretty pattern. Of course, I love the floral print. It is double-sided. Let me show you the other side as well. The other side is more of this patchwork type of look. So I might use this for some of the trim or different elements on the jacket, but I think it will be so cute. I love this fabric and it'll be really cozy, but also transition while going into spring. Now I've had this project in mind for a few weeks now, but last night I was scrolling through the new collection on the Rouge website and they have this quilted jacket available, which I think is really similar actually to the style that I'll be making. If you look at the lines of this jacket compared to the lines on the coat pattern, it's very similar and the fabric's not far off either. They do have the mix of the red and the smaller print, which is so cute. But I just thought this was so funny because it is such a similar design. So I'm excited to have something similar to this, but not, let's see, what does this cost? Not $365. <laughs> So right now I'm just going to get started cutting the jacket out and I'll check back in with you after that's done. Okay, so I've cut out all of the main pieces of the jacket. So there are these front pieces that turn down to form a collar, one back piece cut on the fold, and then I'm having to piece together my sleeves a little bit because I did not have quite as much fabric as I thought I did. So what I'm going to start with is just assembling this main outer shell of the jacket because I'm not positive what type of fabric I want to use both for the part of the collar that will be exposed and for the lining of the jacket, I actually have this old pink fleece blanket that I think could work really well. So I might experiment with that a little bit, but I'm going to start just assembling this now and put this outer shell together. So I just finished piecing together the first sleeve and I actually really like how this looks. It almost enhances the quilted look of the fabric, I think. I ran some top stitching on either side of the seams wherever I had pieced it together and I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat all of this for the next one and then I'll have both of my sleeves assembled. Okay, so the sleeves are done and I've moved on to working on assembling the main body of the jacket. All I've done so far are add these darts that are at the front of the jacket below the collar. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew the front and back pieces together. Then I'll be ready to add the sleeves. So I'm playing this by ear a little bit because sometimes you just don't feel like looking at the pattern guide. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this back seam on the under collar here. And then I should be able to go ahead and add the front pieces to the back of the jacket.
Okay, so we are making quite a bit of progress on this jacket. Here is what it looks like so far. So you can see I've got the sleeves attached and there's this collar that was part of the front pieces. So that's attached at the back. And I think it's looking really, really cute. Now I just tried this on and I think what I want to do is cut the length down quite a lot. It's a really cute length and I think it would look great in a different fabric, but for this quilted fabric, I think it's going to work a lot better at a little bit of a shorter length. So I'm going to remove a few inches from the bottom, probably about five or six inches actually, because I think it'll look a lot better with this style. And then I'm going to get into adding some details like pockets and things like that. I'm really excited because I have a few ideas for how to use some of the prints from the other side of the fabric for the rest of the detailing on the jacket. So I'm going to kind of go into a little bit of a creative space and let's see how it turns out. Now I had to show you guys my new favorite sewing tool. Look at this tape measure that Rifle Paper Company sent over recently. I think it is so adorable. It has the floral outside case and then you can pull out the measuring tape and then just press the center to retract it. So cute. Okay, so I've taken a little bit of a break, but I'm back to working on this jacket and I'm adding the patch pockets to the front now. So I went ahead and sewed this one on here and then this one I'm getting ready to top stitch down. But these are made out of some of the other side of the fabric. I really love this bolder, more large scale print contrasting with the small print. I think it helps things to look a little bit more balanced. So I'm going to use that for the pockets and I'm also going to try and create some sort of cuff on the sleeve using the same fabric. I just have some pinned here to kind of get an idea for what that will look like but I'm going to go ahead and sew this on now and I did go ahead and add a facing to the collar so that's there now and once I finish stitching this on then I can move on to the lining So here is the current status of the jacket. The whole outside is pretty much done. So I'm ready to move on to the lining now. So for the lining, this is a little bit unconventional, but this is a blanket that my mom was getting rid of and it's like this really thick, squishy fleece material. So I think this will be a really cozy lining for the jacket. So this is what I'm going to cut the lining out of and then I'm just going to get busy sewing that together in the same way I sewed the outside of the jacket. I have Emma on the TV right now, so I am really enjoying myself. This jacket project has kind of taken over my day, so the other things I was talking about might be projects for tomorrow, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get the lighting put together now. So to create this cute little cuff detail on the sleeves, I'm going to add these pieces to the bottom of the sleeve lining. So I've cut my lining out of this fluffy blanket fabric, and then I'm just going to put these with the right sides together and sew these down to the bottom of the sleeve before I assemble it. And that way when I turn this towards the right side of the jacket, I can top stitch this down on the outside and the part of the fabric that I want exposed will be exposed. So I'm just going to sew these together now. So the jacket is really starting to look like a jacket. It's almost done. I've got the lining inside and it's very soft and cozy. So what I've done is gone ahead and pinned up the hem on the inside, as well as turned the cuffs to the outside and turned this edge under. And then I'm just going to sew all of this down by hand. That feels the easiest to me and I think it will look the best. So I'm going to go get all cozy on the sofa and do some hand sewing while I watch a movie. Okay, so here is where we're at with this jacket, and this is where I'm going to leave it for today. It's about my bedtime, so I'm going to wind down and go to bed, but I think it's looking so cute. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the way it's turning out because I felt like some of it was a little bit of a gamble, 
but I love how cozy it feels with this blanket on the inside and then the quilted fabric. It's just so thick and cozy and warm. And here's how the little cuffs and pockets look. I just love the little extra detail. So all I have to do is add buttons and buttonholes. I haven't decided which buttons to use on this yet. I might do something covered in fabric just to make it be fully coordinated, but I'll decide for sure tomorrow morning and I'll update you guys then. Good morning friends so it is the next day and i am ready to finish up this jacket project i've just been looking through all of my buttons stash to see if i could find the right buttons for this project but actually what i ended up doing is recycling some from a thrifted sweater that i was changing up and so i found these let me show you let me actually set you down on the tripod that will be a little easier so these are the buttons that I found. These were on an old thrifted sweater vest that I got a really long time ago, and they are leather wrapped buttons, which I think will be really cool on this jacket. I was playing around with a few different styles. I had some shell buttons, some tortoise shell, different things, but I think this looks really cute with the style and gives it kind of a vintage flair. So I'm gonna set them on the jacket so you can kind of see the vision and hopefully it turns out really cute. So here's how they look on the jacket just laid out. And I I think it gives it a nice contrast. I was wanting something originally that would just kind of disappear into the fabric, but when I tried a lighter color button, I just didn't like it as much. Something about this I think works really well. So I'm gonna go for these. They're a little bit distressed just because they're older, but I think that gives it kind of a nice lived in look. So all I need to do is add buttonholes and buttons to this. So I'm gonna work on that for a little bit and I will show you when I'm done. I still can't get over how cozy the inside is. I'm really glad that I decided to use the blanket to line it because it's going to be very warm. Now I must admit that doing buttons and buttonholes might be my least favorite part of sewing clothing, but I always like the way it looks. So I am going to turn on a playlist and listen to some music and hopefully this won't take too long because it's only four. So I'm gonna get started and get this coat finished. Okay, and here is how it looks with the buttons attached. So this is the completed project and I am just so excited about it. It's so cozy and just something a little bit different, very comfy and I love the style. I love all of the floral patterns and the stitching, the quilting, everything. So I'm really excited to wear this one. So recently I've been seeing so many of these painted taper candles and I love the way it looks. I think it is so cute. So the other day I went to Home Goods and I got a few packs of just plain colored taper candles and I started painting them and it is just so much fun. It's my new favorite thing to do. So today I thought I'd work on a few more of them and show you how I do it. I am teaching piano this afternoon so I have just a little bit of time to work on these but I thought I'd just get started on some. So I've set up all of my painting supplies here 
I've turned on Emma again because I just keep wanting to watch this. It's the most aesthetically pleasing movie. But let me show you a little bit about how the process works for this. So here are some that I did the other day. I'm not an artist by any means, but I just enjoy painting. So I did some little flowers on this one, little roses and gold polka dots on this one, and then some bows on this one. I think this color was a little bit too light, but I like the idea of it. So I want to work on some more today. Probably my favorite one that I did was this with the little hearts on it. I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day, so I'm definitely going to do more of this one. So I have the two different base colors to work with, white and cream. I think I'm going to start with cream and do another one of the heart ones because I just love how that one looks. I wanna do another red one and I think a pink one too. So what I read online is that before you start painting on your candle, you should clean it with rubbing alcohol. So that's what I did and it seems to work really well. I think that's helping the paint to adhere better and I haven't had any issues with it flaking off. So I'm just going to wipe this down with some rubbing alcohol and then I'm just going to start painting. I am using just non-toxic acrylic paint. That's what I read in an article you're supposed to do. So it's working really well so far. So that's what I'm going to do and we will see how it turns out. Okay, so I just finished this one with the little hearts on it. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to set this in a candle holder to dry. So I finished two of the heart candles and it's time for me to leave now. So this evening I'm going to work on some more floral style designs, but I just think it's such a fun little project to do. So I'll show you guys the results a little bit later. Good morning, friends. It's now the next day. And last night when I got home, it was so dark. I just didn't have the motivation to um, film anything, but I did paint a couple more candles and I'm going to do another one of each of these this morning because I really like how they turned out. So let me show you how they look. So I just think that these two are like the perfect Valentine's Day combination. This one has these little roses and gold polka dots. And then this one has the little ditzy heart pattern. So that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make two more of these and then I'll have a whole set. So I'm going to start by making another one of the floral ones. And to do this design, I used this light pink color of paint mixed with this kind of like soft red color. And I just swirled these together to give it a little bit more dimension before I painted the roses onto the candle. For the leaves, I used this kind of sagey green. And then for the little gold polka dots, I used this rose gold paint, which is really pretty. So I'm just gonna start painting and I'll try and show you a little bit about how I do this, but I'm not a painter, so you guys probably know better than me. <laughs> so I'm using this really small brush because I find that to be the easiest just to control what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to mix a little bit of this darker color with the light color and just kind of swirl it so that it has a lot of different variations of color and don't mix it too much just so it looks kind of almost tie-dyed and then with that i can go ahead and start painting my flowers so i'm just going to do a bunch of little swoops if i feel like the color is too mixed and doesn't have enough dimension i'll just go back and get a little bit more so that it has more variation and then i'm just going to kind of do these little swoop designs that's the best way i can think to describe it I think that needs a little more of a light color. And then I'm just spacing these out all over the candle. And after I've done kind of this initial layer, I can always come back in and add a little bit more detail with my paint. Okay, I just finished this floral one. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. I'm noticing it does not like to focus on the candles very much. Let's see. Isn't that cute? I think it turned out so darling. I'm really excited about this. And then I'm just going to do one more of the little heart ones. For these, I'm using that darker pink or light red. I don't really know how to describe this color. And the same small brush. And then I'm just being really casual with this and painting it almost like polka dots. Just like one swipe on one side, one swipe on the other. 
and it looks really cute even when it's imperfect, I think. It's so cute. All right, friends, I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up here for today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit of a mix of different things, but that's kind of my favorite type of video to make, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm just really excited about my new jacket and these fun candles were just so much fun to make. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending your time here on my channel today, and I'll talk to you in a new sewing video very, very soon. Bye. Get stop, stay strong.